Hey guys, I'm back and I'm reacting to every Tool song from the very beginning to the very end. And right now I'm on Tool Stink Fist, I believe. Um, sorry for the delay, I've been sick, so my videos might be coming out a little bit slower for the next day or two. It's not COVID, but it's not been fun. I'm still sick, but I just wanted to do, you know, at least one video to let you guys know that I'm still doing this. It's just gonna be a little bit delayed for the next day or two. Okay, some interesting little sounds going on there. I'm not sure what that was, but I like how in these studio versions, their sound design is a lot more unique than the, the live versions that I've seen so far. Just a few things I noticed. They have that reverb, reverse vocal effect going on again, which is always cool to me. Um, and then his main vocal performance has kind of that megaphone uh, filter on it, which is sometimes cool. Sometimes I don't like it, but it just depends on the song, really. So I guess I'll hold judgment for now. See how they, they changed that effect so they didn't overuse it. It was just there for a little bit and then changed and there's a good variation. Sometimes certain songs abuse that megaphone kind of vocal effect. good this is really good something about that vocal melody that he was just doing was really catchy you know like no wasted notes kind of thing where it's just that part in particular i could i could see myself humming that in the days to come and then this riff the main riff of the song i think at least is pretty cool too and i'm sorry guys i feel like my commentary might be a little bit lacking this song just because I'm still sick and not feeling the greatest but bear with me I'm liking it more and more as it goes on. It feels like they're nailing the transitions in this song. You'll feel it coming, like the transition, and then they lead into this more aggressive part. And then I'm pretty sure that this more aggressive part's gonna go into that catchy vocal melody after this part's done. But let's see, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna rewind it just a tiny bit.
some of you guys are like, oh, the hand drumming inspired type drumming is coming. And that, I feel it a little bit in this song already. That's kind of cool. I really like that. Let's see if they keep on doing that or if it's just like a little breakdown that they do. Either way, I think it's pretty cool though. riff that kind of breakdown riff that they're doing right now where it's it's like deceivingly simple but like the rhythmic idea behind it is really punchy really concise and catchy and i think that's the key to a lot of the songs like the tool songs that i kind of pick out i'm like oh i really like this one is they have that really punchy quick concise riff that's just like badass and then obviously Maynard doing some cool vocals on top of that but to me that's how I know the song is like gonna be up there in my rankings I think that's like a little variation on that main riff that they were doing throughout the, the song. drumming in this part his voice sounds really cool too but that drumming was super sick to me his upper register his like lighter higher notes that he hits and then especially with the clean guitars and the almost bongo like drums being played that's really cool it's a good combination <laughs> breakdown part i really like the main part it's like the song in general and i was going to say it sounds like a, a bit more mature of a sound that they're achieving um given that this is probably a few years after their previous album they've definitely had some time to work on kind of getting to that next level which you guys have been alluding to and i can definitely sense that i don't know if sounding more mature makes sense but I don't know. I think you get what I mean. All right. I think that's it. So it just had a nice little fade out there. I'm really liking the direction that they're going in with this album. To be honest, I don't know if the rest of the songs are gonna be like this at all, but if they are, I would be pretty happy about it because I was a big fan of this song. I like the way that Maynard's voice sounded on it. I think it was 
a unique mix of effects that they did. I really like the drumming. Like the some of the fills were insane. All of the grooves were really cool. The breakdown part where it sounds like congas or bongo inspired. I really just enjoyed all the components that made up this song. And again, sorry, I feel like my commentary and reaction is probably a little bit less ideal because I'm sick and just not feeling great. Uh, bear with me and I'll try to get some videos out in this next week. If you want to continue as I watch all the Tool songs and get my reaction and commentary, then subscribe and thank you guys. See ya.